So you believe I abandoned you? Yes. I never knew you as my mom till I was, what, 17? You were nowhere close. I was nowhere close because I had to walk out to feed and clothe you. <sighs> Judah, I practically gave up my life for you. What are you even saying? <laughs> Grandma raised me. You were that evil tigress of an aunt who comes to the house once in a while to order everyone around. Grandma died. You asked me not to call you mom. I guess you were so ashamed of me. You didn't want the whole world to know that you had a son. Keep talking. Are you done? Do you have something else to say to me? Just keep talking. Dad abandoned you when you were very little. You gave birth to me and abandoned me as grandma. Either way, you're, you're, you're both guilty of the same thing. Ah! Ah!
What? Oh, you think you've outgrown beaten, right? Mom. Jira, what is it? What do you want? I worked tirelessly so that you can attend one of the best schools. I work so hard so to provide for you. I work so that you don't lack anything. And what do I ask from you? I ask that you attend school, graduate and be the man your father isn't. Jira, am I asking for too much? Mom, I'm trying. I've tried. Maybe this whole school thing is just not for me. Really? That is to say I am asking for too much. <sighs> Let me have the key. Don't ever touch any of this card. You will not. And about the carryovers, you're sorting them out yourself. Discussing how Zion has abandoned you and dumped you. Wait, like, you mean they were discussing about me? That guy has no shame. He talks anyhow. 
How dare him? How dare Zion discuss me with his friends? Those idiots! He's so full of himself. Mannerless idiot. Zion! How dare you belittle me in front of your friends? Those idiots! Who be this one? Now she follow the carpet. I'm talking to you! Don't see this is that Zion. Don't even act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Are you okay or something? Why will you go and discuss me with your friends? See, let this sound as a warning. The next time you will try this, eh? The what, next... what will happen? You the man? You the Chris? Like, now me they talk to. I don't see some of these two idiots. They are not you. idiots. Mama, I tell you, the next time when you go block me, talk to me like this, I go mend you. You know if you do Disappointment like you. Can you imagine this wasted product? This fool! You are an idiot! You are a fool! Can you, can, you, can you imagine? Can you, can you imagine this idiot? I don't, I don't blame you. Fool. Come here. Will you quickly fasten your button and dress properly? Fast! Why have you decided to kibosh and terminate your precious life? Look at you, a gentle, decorous, and concretitudinous, enamorata, and beautiful young lady like you. You've decided to transmogrify and metamorphose your life from being a feminine character to a masculine character. Let me, let me ask you, are you part of the LGBTQ community? Or are you in any way related to Bob Risky? Why have you decided to destroy your life? Look at a beautiful girl like you. What would your mom say? Nothing at all. Aren't you like other students? Sir, so, we be like other students too. Me and my friends will find trouble. My friend. Can we even read pass? My friend, shut, shut that flap doodle and see which plant you come out. Look at the bone come you open your buccal cavity to verbose to me. Eh? Is this how you are supposed to comport yourself? Oh, God. Is this is what your mother sent you to come and do in this school? I ah, pity your mother. You think this is what she expected from you? You're here gallivanting and propelling yourself with all these nonchalant students. And you claim to. Can you, do, do, do you even read at all? No, no, no. Ask me, do you read at all? Oh, you read. And you even fail the test. It's not a problem. If you think this is what your mother wished for you, Everyone join others in class fast. I say join others in class now. And walk properly like a female. Nonsense. So what now? You think you're in a better position to give me parental advice, huh? I mean, please, just calm down, okay? Please. I didn't mean any harm, please. But you mean to disrespect me? I mean, please, I understand you're still very angry. Yes, you're still very angry, okay? I left when you needed me the most. Not just that, but man, you never needed him. To think you almost tricked me into having an abortion. Against all odds, I took responsibility and bore him. Amen. honestly, I am still sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Please, you, you must forgive me. All right, okay, fine. I understand I was not as brave as you were. Yes, you were more brave. That's why I'm sorry. Yes, I know you've done an absolute job by raising him, but I just want to be part of his life, please. Listen, Baba, you can be whatever you want to be, but do not call my phone and then tell me on, on how I'm being too hard on him. Don't! Okay, noted, noted. You, like, you, can, you can do, you can try to be whatever you want. I do not care. But don't ever advise me on how to be a better parent. You don't even have an idea what it means to be a parent. You don't! Noted. But can I, can I, can I see my son, please? Fine. Now get off my phone.
What? Oh, please. I bet you until you were 13, 14, 17, there about. So what's that? No, you didn't. I was in boarding school. Really? Yes. That's so. Whatever. Oh, your dad called. It amazes me how he believes that he's a better father. I mean, barely a year I allowed him back into your life. He's already acting as if he's, he's a better father and I'm the parent who deserves lectures on how not to be hard on her son. <sighs> Judah, am I being hard on you? Mm. What? Yes. I, I, I still can't forget how this man abandoned me with the pregnancy. He left me as a teenager. He abandoned me and, and I still hate him so much for it. His parents never liked you. He didn't have much of a choice. He didn't have much of a choice, but he had a choice of tricking me into having an abortion. Oh, yes, he tried. Thank God I didn't. Thank God I decided to keep you. Mom, I'm so sorry. I didn't know about this. Come on. You don't have to be sorry. Whatever happened was between your father and I. But what baffles me, I mean, what worries me is your relationship with him. You both haven't been up to anything good. I, I'm very sure you've been having cheap conversations about me. We haven't been cheap talking about you. He's only been concerned about my well-being. Well, that's good. As a father should. But then he should stop linking it to my affairs. He should stop making it seem like I cannot take care of my son. He should stop making it seem like I do not have what it takes to look after my son. For heaven's sake, I have sacrificed enough already. Then let him take the burden away. No. I don't need him. We don't need him. And, and you are not a burden. You have never been a burden to me. That is why if he decides to buy you another car, I will take it away from you. But why? A man who travels all his life on a smooth path has no way of developing forbearance. You cannot own what you cannot afford. Life is in stages. Men are in sizes. Mm. So you have to work hard. I'll be outside. Dress up. Better knock next time. Whatever. Yes. Dial. What are you still doing with this guy? Those are my friends. I know, Zion, but they are bad influence. I mean, you're better than this. You're intelligent. And above all, Zion, you promised me. I did promise you so many things. I can see this is the way you want to live. And I'm sorry for trying to stop you. You know, you can't just come into someone's life and make them cut ties with the people they've known before you. I know, Zion. I'm sorry for trying. He's right. We are bad influence. Abby. <laughs> <laughs> Very 
Ayo kelihatan Ayo Mercy, why are you lavishing your precious and gentle life with, with a menace and bozo ignoramus person like Zion? What do you know about love? You have a very bright future ahead of you. Mercy, leave Zion so Zion will leave you. Zion is a menace, a Mephistophelian homo sapien, somebody that indulges in abysmal and lugubrious or macabre activities. Is that the person you want to spend a, 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 a waste your life with? Zion is somebody that can fecund and fertilize your prenatal chambers, which will make you kibosh your education. If you take your academic serious, you should stay away from him. I know what I'm telling you. You have a bright full show ahead of you. Zion is somebody that the hypothalamus, hippocampus, and medulla oblongata is completely void. There's nothing inside it. He has set out to waste his life. Please, don't fall down with him. Mom, can I at least keep the new apartment you got me? Nope. You're moving back to your old apartment. Is that even fair? I don't like it there. Right? You're moving back regardless. Oh, oh. just maybe if you're able to convince your landlord to refund my two years advance payment, just maybe you can keep the new apartment. Really? I think you like that suggestion. Well, no, not really. Mom. Judah, listen. I am not going to raise a man that would depend on others for survival. Rather, I will raise a man who is responsible to, enough to understand that there is greatness in hard work. Here we go again. A man who sweats genuinely I mean, you have to genuinely sweat to earn the respect among men. And you, my son Judah, will someday be that man. So you have to brace up. So share up and work harder. Bye, Mom. Oh, fine. I was expecting that. See you! Show me the thing okay. you're talking about. Okay. <sighs> okay. I'm going to start from the beginning because I already started dancing before. Sure, you just came. just go easy on me. Uh
You see, let me tell you that um, as an academic juggernaut and an erudite egghead, I would want to inculcate and instill Brobdingnagian and Pantagrelian knowledge in each and every one of you as an aficionado. So as we peregrinate through these teachings, I want you to pay attention attentively so that you can actually imbibe and you know comprehend what I'm verbosing from my book cavity. So the topic for today is actually algebra. Bring out your notebooks and uh, let's propel and galvanize this. So uh, at this juncture, intersection and sangam, I'll be giving you a few examples and we'll be doing a few bit of calculations so that uh, you can actually comprehend uh, what I'm doing. Okay. Stop there, stop there, stop there. Since the Fawcett Origo inception, and the uh, endeavor of this academic endeavor have been protruding and galvanizing in this place. Where are the all of you propelling and catapulting yourselves? Where are you coming from? Outside. Outside. When you say outside, which particular locus and envy room? Ah, I don't know what's wrong with this crack brain like it, Ninkompu. It's like your basal ganglia, hypothalamus, and hippocampus cannot actually comprehend what I'm verbosing from my buccal cavity. What I'm trying to say is that which particular geographical location? We're exactly outside. Ah, what's the reason for this pandemonium and conundrum? What's going on here? Gaga to one gaga. Oh my. Oh my God. I go at that song. Okay, do you see? Your friend Allah is a tall city. Okay, I go read it now. I'm very lost. Now let's. What in the. Hold on. Where are you propelling and galvanizing him to? Come back here. Don't worry. Don't worry. You just eclipse and envelope yourself in stupendous, tremendous, and broad Ignagian quagmire and hula balu. You will hear from me. Let's continue this class. Good afternoon, sir. And is there anything that denotes that I am not equally happy to see her? And please, open your mouth and answer my question. Woman, you are at it again. Can I have my rest? I'm sorry, let me have your bag. What's going on? Let me fetch water for you, then arrange your food. Please come. Don't take it out when you sit up. Just take it big. Everything will come in the Let me make this food. In that case, good thing I still have my phone. But you know, phone calls cannot take your place. And this.
I mean, how could you tell your gate man not to let me in? What are you doing in my house? Well, my son lives here too. <laughs> Boma, you're beginning to get on my nerves. I am sure I made it clear to you that you can decide to see me anywhere. You can visit him at school. You can decide to take him out. The only place you're not permitted to visit him is my house. So what are you doing in my hey, house? why are you so unforgiving? Why? I mean, it's been 21 good years. 21 years of hard times, Boma. No, tell me. Talk to me about forgiveness. Nonsense. But I know you still love me, don't you? You must be sick in the head. Where is my hey, son? Babe, I don't want to see this man in my house again. Where is my son? Get out of my house. Out! Where is my son? You know where to find him. Where is my son? Boma. Hey, Boma! Get him out! Get close to me. I'll, 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 I'll slap you. Get out! Where's my son? You will lose your job. Get him out of my house. What? Get him out! I'll skip your life with me. You, you want me to break Let me see my son. Get him out! Where's my son? Get him out! Daddy, leave. What's going on? Judah, my boy. Why is he fighting? How are you? Someday you're going to have to forgive me if you ever hope to move on. I have moved on and I have forgiven him. So why do you continue to make me suffer for his crimes? I beg your pardon. He was never in the picture. But you were never much around either. I practically grew up with grandma. Exactly. He abandoned you. You abandoned me with grandma. I've forgiven you. Why is it so hard for you to do the same? Where, where, where did you get that from? Mom, where I go, that thing doesn't matter. Hope you enjoy your meal. <coughs> Bethlehem! I did. Ah, that reminds me. Mm. On Saturday, your daughter will be writing jam. <coughs> Which of my daughters? Bethlehem, of course. <laughs> Bethlehem. Is she through with her dancing nonsense or her uh, O-level secondary education? Is she through with her either of the both? Matt, are you serious? She's through with her work. Are you okay with it? Yes? See, on no me, I only get a couple of days every month to rest my head in this house. How do you expect me to keep tabs on Supposed frivolities, mm. things that are of little or no importance to me. You don't just care about this girl since the moment she was born. That's a lie. And you, of all persons, know about this. Mm. At first, I don't want to tell you this, but let me tell you tomorrow is her 18th year birthday. And please, I want you to show a little kindness. I will not remind you tomorrow. Make sure you do it. Helene. Helene. So it's 18 years already. You left me with 
a little girl. Now she has turned a woman, a complete woman. Helene. So you believe I abandoned you? Yes. I ever knew you as my mom till I was, what, 17? You were nowhere close. I was nowhere close because I had to walk out to feed and clothe you. <sighs> Judah, I practically gave up my life for you. What are you even saying? <laughs> Grandma raised me. You were that evil tigress of an aunt who comes to the house once in a while to order everyone around. Grandma died. You asked me not to call you mom. I guess you were so ashamed of me. You didn't want the whole world to know that you had a son. Keep talking. Are you done? Do you have something else to say to me? Just keep talking. Dad abandoned you when you were You gave birth to me and abandoned me as grandma. Either way, you're, you're both guilty of the same thing. Ah. 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 You are a grateful bastard. How could you? I worked so hard so to feed and clothe you. I gave you the life I couldn't even have for myself. You think I abandoned you? Really? I may not be physically available, but I was present in your life. No. All of it. You know what? You're living in my house since you're too big. You're going out there to work your ass out like I did as a teenager. I was just a teenage girl. I had to do what was necessary. You're grown already. You're living. Out to my boyfriend, it's going to kill me. Because you know, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. a bed in the sky. Wipe your tears, don't you cry? Hope you're not mad. Never, never, never give up. Just believe you can fly. Like a bird in the sky. Yes, don't you cry Never, never, never give up I always believe that your dreams will fail Go on your knees every day and pray How many times will you feel this way? Just believe, just
never, never give up. Just believe you can fly like a bird in the sky. Wipe your tears, don't you cry. Never, never, never give up. Oh, what a feeling she got. Oh, you don't know who you are. Do you have a rough part? He's in the dark that you find your star. Seeing all the tears in your eyes. Seeing all the pains in the skies. Seeing all the truth in the lies. Never give up. You will find your star. Never give up. Always eat up. Always give faith that the morning will come. The journey will long and the road may be rough. Judah! What happened to you? Never give up. Always sit down. Always give faith that the money will come. The journey will long and the road may be rough. Always give faith that the money will come. Just believe you can fly. Like a bird in the sky. Like your tears, don't you cry? Never, never give up. How can you be so wicked? How? Huh? How can you spend our son out of life at such an odd hour? Ow! Oh, so this is what it's about, and I thought <laughs> I thought you're still obsessed with me and can't stay away from me. You wish. I wish you take your car off my path. I'm late for work. Well, our son was attacked and they took all his belongings, all because of you. Please didn't kill him. I hope they give me his car. Yes, his car. What kind of a mother are you? One who wouldn't sit and watch a child she born and conceived do abdominal pain to insult her in her own house. So you toasted him. You really did that. How could you be so wicked? Well, you see, a fish who hasn't tasted different types of water wouldn't know there is hot water. So he should. You know what? You will regret this. I promise you, you will regret this. Do you know why I sent him back? Do you know why I sent him out? I, I believe he was feeling too cozy in my house. He was feeling too comfortable. So he should go out there and learn to still have me. We have heard about your exploits. Such unruly behavior is tantamount to dating the image of this honorable institution. Consequently, we can no longer keep you in this institution. Now get out of my office. Didn't you hear what I said? Let he who has never known sin cast the first stone. Do you want me to call the security? Do you want me to tell the world about Margaret Ekon? Who is Margaret Ekon? Don't pretend you don't know the SS1 girl being pregnant and forced to have an abortion two years ago. Are you trying to blackmail me? No. Your principal. Sir, it is called leverage. Everything in this world or in life can be negotiated. Negotiated? Um nobody will believe you. I get the video. The dead don't tell tales. But the living do. <laughs> Thank you.
You are just bluffing. Tell me I am bluffing again. I will forward the video directly to your wife. Now. <clears throat> um... Zion, Zion, you think you're not the head honcho, the numero uno, the gaffer, the high mocker mock of this academic edifice. I don't know the exact thing you did or said to the principal that allowed him to let you go scot free. Leave show for who gets out. You see, let me advise you as a fellow homo being and a homo sapien. This your malevolent, vicious, and cataclysmic predicaments that you decide to engulf and delve into would catapult you to your destruction and Armageddon. Now, be the doings with level. I won't be able to say you get cap yourself. I get where I was supposed to be by now. Karma is real, though. One day you will face your karma. One day you will face your karma and it will terminate and kibosh this delinquent and juvenile attitude you've been putting up. Don't worry, I know what I'm telling you. Nobody rich. I'm watching you. to see you. Yeah, now you've seen me. Get going. No. I know that I haven't been able to see you, but it hurts me so Did much. Did you not hear what I just said? <laughs> Yesterday was my birthday. Happy birthday. Look at them feeling like they are studying. I know that for some few seconds ago, you've eclipsed this classroom in a state of tumultuous and loquacious state of tattle and brobbing Nagyan, Bangarang, and Tamasha. <laughs> Dumb dumbs. Acting as if they are, they are very gentle and decorous. By the way, at this juncture, intersection and Sangam, let me quickly digress to the crux and focal point of this academic indaba and colloquy. If you open your eyes and envisage at my left hand side, you can deduce that uh, I have an inamorata with me. And looking at her physiognomy and physog, you can deduce that she is a Lola Palooza aparagic and an aficionado of education. <laughs> I appreciate your colleagues. So from now on, subsequently, she would try her best to be taking you on literature. Now, at this juncture, intersection, and sangam, let me meticulously and punctiliously advise and warn that you kibosh and terminate this your agro bago hocus pocus prosopagnosia. Make sure you don't eclipse this beautiful lady in a state of pneumonal trimicroscopy silicovolcanoconiosis. Who said English? Who said English? Forgive them, Brother Bernard. Sorry, Uncle Bernard. Continue, sir. Wait, 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 wait. So can't you, dumb dumbs, nincompoops, and crackbrain like it, conduct yourself and eclipse yourself in a state of pocritudinous serendipity for just a minute? Can't you be civilized? 
My God. These are not even students. These are nincompoops that are trying to eclipse this academic edifice in a state of cataclysmic brohaha and hokum hohum. <coughs> if you look at my physiognomies, you can deduce that there is no one ha ha ha. It's all right. At this juncture, intercession and sangam, uh, please, the floor is yours. Uh -huh. Be careful with them. They can be very dangerous. I did, but she shot herself in and won't come out. Ah. Honestly, I, I don't know what I did to her that made her hate me so much. I don't know. No, she doesn't hate you so much. She just blamed herself for her mother's death. If only she was there in time. <sighs> but how could she? When you needed savings, and in saving she let her mother die. This were her thoughts. But Woke us up. The rattle here represents the sound an engine makes. Are we flowing? Yes. yes. Good. So, how about me? Who can tell me what? Good. Okay, sounds easy to you guys. How about um, pita pata pita pata? What sound does that make? I'm in a pita guana. I'm in a matopia. Is the sound of rainfall. Oh, Father, forgive me. If I have sinned, it's been six months now. I never confess, my guy. Go ahead and confess your sins, my son. Pablo, my man. Shirt, baby. It's okay. That's okay, guys. Enough of this play. Enough. So let's go back to. Let's go to top again. Who can give me the figure of speech of simile? You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Oh. Your eyes are so beautiful, like the sun. And your lips are like the nectar 
of a sunflower unfolding in the morning. Please, Zion is a goat. Smolly, Smolly, what are you talking It's a metaphor. Can we move on? She just gave me her own example. Why are you guys pissed off? Nice one. But I want to shit. <laughs> You know what? I think that's enough for today. You guys I want to shoot. I mean, a shit. You know the thing? No, be there. No, be there. No, make I you to death. Why? You've done nothing wrong to me. What? You were right. I should probably take my life more serious. Thank you. Well, I think I'm ready. Ready? For what? I don't know. Maybe ready to be your girlfriend. Ah, you're still here? Yeah, I am. I, I, I thought at this juncture and intersection, you might have prepared and galvanized back to your habitat and terminus aquen. <laughs> you mean you thought by now I must have gone home? Exactly. Well, I also leave. I just want to pick up a few things. I'll keep you my way. You know, uh, since you actually knew in this town eh? if you need somebody to show you around you know <laughs> one or two you understand i'm very much available that's so thoughtful of you i appreciate it but you know i'm not so new in this town like you said so i can take care of myself you don't have to worry so um, i'll see you later it's all Bye. right Sorry. What exactly are you sorry for now? I thought I told you to go away. Your mother died because of me. And you have the right to hate me. If I were you, I would have told the same. Enough! Get out! No! It's not enough. Don't you ever! Tell me to go away from you because you don't know how much it hurts. Really? How much? You don't know. Because you're wearing the shoes. You don't know how much it pains me to see you suffer. And I regret it. I regret the fact that I, I left you here to grieve. I should have come sooner. <laughs>
happy birthday. You are 18 years now. Look at the beautiful woman you have become. Your mother would have been so proud of you if you had let her. you look and when you go right very well okay, mommy. i just don't want to hear any mistake you know no problem it very well good morning ma ah good morning ruka this one you're here this morning uh i just came to wish you good oh okay. like you know i needed it thank you okay how are we doing now i'm late okay. Bye bye. Okay, please go, go and come back fast. Erika, come now. I made breakfast. Let's go and eat together. I know you will enjoy this one. Come, let's go. Good morning, city people, and welcome to your favorite morning show, Coffee and Tables. Coming to you live from 99.2 FM for Tarkot City. I'm your radio bed, Olive Biobio, and I'm just warming up to take your day straight up. As I reach Talent Factory Season 1, are you a dancer looking for a platform to reach the world? Do you have what it takes to be the next rated art? Participate on the Aston Ridge Dance Talent Show and stand a chance to win 5 million Naira and other consolation prizes. For more information, text your name and bio to the following number 070 070-3310-1388. 070-3310-1388. Ciao.
Want to, want to, want to, want to, eh? Oh, which boss? Which boss? Start a fish. What? You must start a fish, I beg. Let's go, let's go, let's go again. Five, six, seven, let's go. One, two, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, eh? Hey, hey. Come on, say. Not Come on, say. I'm not dancing. Hey, pray. No. Hey, pray, dance now. I should dance what? I just made a mistake. We should stop. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I want us to like. I want us to do our best in this store. I don't like the way we are. We are backing up or we are going slow in this. We are behind. Please, please. Let's just like concentrate on this one. Do it. With our very best. That's if you guys allow me. Oh. When I make. Hey. Well, that was good. Sorry. I'm not going to be here. Let's go. Let's go. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Okay. Ah. Babe. Yeah. Where have you been now? You've been around. 
Like, I've been waiting for you throughout the year, the time. You know, this is my exam period. I have to read. Don't worry, don't worry, it's fine, okay? It's fine. I missed you. Yes. I missed you. I miss you more, I miss you more for you. Um, you guys are rehearsing. Of course we are, we are rehearsing. Mm. I'm putting more effort. Yeah, just do my best, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, babe, what? you remember Zion? Zion, Zion. That Who's guy Zion? from my school. Oh, oh, that Zion. That guy, yes. That, that guy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, what's up with him? He's going for that competition. Wait, you mean the dance competition? Yes, of course. <sighs> wow. Zion is everywhere. See, guys, know they talk that thing. I want you to beat that guy. See, I want you to put more effort in this in this rehearsal. I want you to win that money. You trust me now. I trust me. you. Come on. I want to go win now. Uh-uh. I want to win. Trust you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love you so much. I love you too, babe. Win that money for us. Yeah, we'll use it. Yeah. Can we go out from here? Ah, sure, 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 we can. Let's go. So this is it, right? You and the marker. You now feel I'm a product you can use and dump at any time. Look, April. At this point, we just have to be professional. In this thing, we have a competition, a dance competition ahead of us. And look, I don't want any emotional feelings at all. I don't want any emotional feelings. And by the way, everything we shared back then was a mistake. A mistake? Yeah, it was a mistake. You called my feelings for you a mistake. You called everything we shared a mistake, all because of who Amaka. I am now a mistake, and Amaka the good one, right? Look, April. I think you don't have any important stuff to say. Ha, ha. I think I'll take my leave now, okay? You don't have anything to say. So everything I'm now saying is rubbish. As you, Amaka has changed you. You've forgotten everything we shared. No problem. We'll see to this competition. We'll see what will happen in this dance competition. you just so beautiful. Look how you were glowing. Sorry, who is this? Your secret lover. Sorry, who is this? Your secret lover. Listen to me, whoever you are. If you don't want to come out of the shadows and be a man about what you want, you're just going to have to keep receiving these gifts. And that will be all. Did I say something funny? Look, I will not say this again. 
come out of the shadow and be a man about what you want. Yeah. Stop sending me gifts. You know, one of these days, I'd love to see you in red. Red what? What red? I love red. Red gown, red heels, red lipsticks, red lingerie. Do you know what? It's so obvious that you're out of your mind. It's just so obvious that you're out of your mind. Rubbish. How could it be? It's fine. Gifts, keep sending. Mr. Nato, how are you? Very good. We're I'm well. sure you've met my son. Oh, well, not in the right sense of a um, meeting. Okay. But he never told me he's this big. Um, not, hey, come, 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 come. Judah, he loves to dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are indeed a lucky man. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You know, I'm just thinking about Susan. Uh, Susan, come to think of it, see, Susan eventually will come around. You know, I told you, bringing and reconnecting with your son is the best and the right thing to do at every point in time. Talking about Susan. Oh, hi, baby. Yeah, I'm good. You coming? Yes. April, miracle. What? What is all this nonsense? Look at the time you guys are coming for Riaza. Two hours late. Now what do you want us to dance now? We have a competition ahead of us. And you guys are coming reluctantly. Is that how you want us to win the money? I'm tired of all this nonsense you guys are doing. Because I don't tire. I don't tire. See, see, April, April. Hey, hey, who did this here? Follow him. Him. Leave this him. him. Follow him. Because he knows he's still shout. You open your mouth and shout. Oh, it's okay. I beg you now. Okay. Okay. What? It's okay. Are you not the one that did what? Let's go. If you want to join them, follow Let's them. Let's go. Stay here and I'm about going. Everything. April this. April that. April this. April that. Oxymoron happens when two words or phrases with opposing meaning have been used intentionally for effect. Perfect. Very correct. In another terms could be. Um, use that contradiction terms. ITK, you don't do now. Wow, agri foul. Bam bam, not cool at all. Please carry on, Ozema. Don't worry, Miss D. I'll write it down in your assessment. Bam bam, I will not have you bully any other person in this class. Is that clear? So let's look at some examples. An ugly and beautiful day it was, raining, sunshine, when she walked into the door and stole my heart for the first time. Zion, 
That's good to know, Zion. Wait. Next. Did you just call my name? Say my name, say my name. Will you shut up? She just called my name. Above you, don't blow. What is wrong with all of you? Have you guys gone nuts? There are two things a man cannot hide. When he's in love and when he's drunk. No, 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 no. And you, my dear miss, Menakiti, Dorati, I am in love with you. The wisest fool in the crew is Sandra. Mm. Whoa. Eh? Agri fool. Now me you the call fool. Excuse me, Ron. Hey. See you. You know they say again, no? Okay. See you. She even get mad for where you did. Calm down. Now me should use cash proof. I'll strip on the kid and flog her bum bum. Mm. Don't worry, me. Ah, ah, you never did for that one. Now, what did they fight for a bomb bomb? My dear, what's going on? It's okay, guys. It's, uh, it's actually as Marani that she considers Sandra to be the wisest fool in the crew. It's just like saying that Zion is the most brilliant fool. In this class. And that will be all for today, guys. See you next time. I was carried away. And I chose to ignore you instantly because that would mean condescending to your level. Now you just proved to me that you're just a boy, a child. What? I'm 22. And I'm 27. And I don't do boys. Are you a less? Boy, you're beneath me, age wise. Age is just a number. Really? Okay. If age is just a number, then why are you in my class? And hold on a second. Does this khaki look like a job to you? Not at all. Khaki is a uniform. And we both wear uniform. So I don't see any difference. Seems like you've been missing your LCM, HCF classes. Because from where I stand, the numbers are high on my side. I'm not naive. And it will shock you what I will do to you in bed with that big man down there. You know? Excuse you? Did this is something? Oh, it's oxymoron. I better be. Now listen and listen very good. I don't want to receive any gifts from you again. No more gifts, no more romantic notes. But if you chose to ignore my warnings, just know that nothing will evolve from this. Absolutely nothing. Excuse you. Let the play begin. Restaurant, eh? just uh, in a very cool area. Okay. Uh -huh. they, they serve very sumptuous and titalizing meals. You know, the meals that are not virulent and noxious, it will make you eclipse your body anatomy in a state of euphoria. Eh? So I'm, I'm thinking the both of us should go there, I know. <laughs> Enjoy and do one or two. Hmm? And what's in it for you? 
Uh, uh, no, nothing, no. <laughs> nothing. Eh? I just want to give you the baby girl treatment that you really deserve. You know, you've been working hard in this school. Eh? <laughs> you understand? Uh, you know, you said you're married, right? So I'm going to ask you this question. Is your wife aware of this plan? Let's not bring my wife into it now. Eh? <laughs> this is a meeting in camera. Eh? This is just a tete a tete between me and you. Eh? It's a popo a popo modus operandi. Eh? My wife does not have to know. Am I not the one saying the meeting? My wife. Leave my wife out of it. Since your wife doesn't know anything about this, she has little plan. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to decline. No. I don't do married men. I don't. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to tell me that you want to pick that nonchalant new kung fu and bomb come of a boy that is barely 17 over an academic dude not like me? No, that is any of your business. But I'm still gonna have to tell you. He's 22 and very much single. <laughs> That's what he told you. Have some shame. Have some shame. Sorry, I couldn't come. No hard feelings. Saturday is the grand finale. Do you think you can make it? Of course. I wouldn't miss it for anything in the world. All right then. Okay. Bye. Oh. We are having a little get together tomorrow evening. Do you think you can come? Maybe. All right. Okay. Bye. There is a text on my phone. It has your name on it. My name? Are you sure? <laughs> I made it! I made it! I made it! Jump? <laughs> Who's Jump? Oh. What is Jump now? I made it today. I saw Rich Dance Competition. Yes! I saw Rich! Okay, okay, let me just sit down and tell you. So, um, on my way to write my exam, mm -hmm. and, you know, I heard this announcement over the radio, but, you know, I, I didn't really take it seriously. And, and, okay, after the exam, mm -hmm. I saw the bill uh, by the road. So, uh, I said, you know, let me just try my luck. And the studio was just nearby.
Auntie. I would like to tell you something, Ma. Okay, that's it. Um, I'll be attending a dance talent hunt audition tomorrow. Talent hunt audition? Yes. How did you get to know about that? I mean, she just came into town. I don't even know if they are genuine. Um, I heard it on the radio while I was on my way to, you know, write my exam. Then I also saw the poster outside the school gates. Can I join? Okay, tell me to us. It's fine, Claudia. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Thank you. God bless you. Talent hunt. Yes. Oh, so where, um, how, where is the place? Any idea where the address is? Yes, and um, the audition is starting tomorrow, but the the this the studio is just close to the school. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like that, though. You know, I had your number in my head, so mm. I now used it. Because, mm. you know, I don't have access to my parents' phone. Uh, so that was what I used. So we see the world's phone. Eh? You mean the winner goes on with 5 million naira? Yes, ma. Hey! Then you have to win. You yeah. have to win that money. You know, it was just local. She's just going to local. win the money. Mm -hmm. Then you go and you do it again. This time. In fact, I'll be your dance instructor. Correct. Mm. In fact, you'll be my dance instructor. Mm -hmm. uh, see who is saying you'll be my dance instructor. You that don't even know how to dance, talk more of. She is. Who? Yeah? She is. She's a very good dancer. In her school days, she used to be the lead dancer before her father died. So when the mother was sick, they have to come back to the village and she remained here permanently. Yeah. Oh, you didn't tell me. You didn't tell Something me how to arm. dance. She's a good dancer. She'll be your dance instructor from now. Yeah. Do you want to dance or you don't want to dance? Emma, yeah, please teach me how to dance. Princess. Huh? Which, which money? Ego. Mm. Uh. Miss Nato. Face is looking like this. I hope all is well. My wife has threatened to divorce me Good if I you. don't permit her to adopt a child. Well, Oga, if that will give her joy and fulfillment, then oblige her. Allow her to adopt a child. Listen, not to what are you saying? Is my own son not enough? Judah is not her son. But the one she's planning to adopt is not also her son. Hmm. Oh God. Do you really want peace and tranquility in this your home? If you do, then allow her to do that. In as much as her actions and inactions does not contravene any of the terrestrial, I mean heavenly, mundane or earthly laws. Allow her have the child. Let her adopt a son. <laughs> I mean, you know what are you in any form or man? Please forgive my manners. I've kept you standing all this while. Please come and sit down. Please forgive me. Apologies. Please sit down. Listen not to I you actually okay please oblige me just that's, say that's, that that's fine that's let fine. me also call you <laughs> you know you know i always see to be my elder brother yes it's okay you are a good man i also bring good friends so <laughs> you remember when he went to england i shall and be was properly taken care of he <laughs> told the queen that when you come to uganda i shall do what i shall retaliate mm. okay let me retaliate today. Mr. Nato, I shall be waiting. Just keep waiting. 
thanks for putting a smile on my face. Yes. This drink is very good, sir. It's very good. <clears throat> yes, moringa in it. Thank you, Mr. Nato. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you drink my drink. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. It's my pleasure. Sir, there's something that is actually bothering me a great deal. What could that be? Recently, my daughter turned 18. And very soon, she will be leaving the home for school. She got admission into the tertiary institution. But I am sad. Sad in the sense that I don't really know the image of me that she is going to be carrying alongside with her as she's leaving the home. You're confusing me. Mr. Nato, you are a good man. Of course, it will be a good image. Is it? See, Oga, my wife, Helen, died 18 years ago. And she was the love of my life. She was all I got. When she died, my life crumbled, shattered, and I was devastated. And all I could do to find solace was to blame the death 
on my little innocent daughter. But she was just a child. It's okay. Just drink it away. Drink up. She was just a child. A little child at that. I have carried this guilt in my heart for so long. Okay? Do you know that I find it very difficult, extremely difficult to stare at her? Because each time I do, I can't but see the image of my late wife. The love of my life. That's what I see each time I look at my daughter. I deprived myself of being a part of the special gift God gave to my life over the years. All in the sense of the shock of the loss of my wife. Mr. Nato, believe me, you are a good man. You have to stop beating yourself up. You see, we've all done things that we end up regretting. I was just 20 years old when a man took him. I was so scared. I was so scared to become a father. So I left. I left when she needed me the most. I left. It took me 19 solid years for me to retrace my step. And I can tell you, Mr. Nato, it's not easy for me to make up those lost years. But yours is totally different. Believe me, yours is different. Okay? You can still make up with your daughter. Sir, do you really think so? It's still possible? Everything is possible. And I believe so. Come on, drink up. Drink. I understand how it feels for, you know, one's dreams to be dashed. Mm. Oh, my dreams are a gone deal, but I see a resurrection in my dream. How? In you. Me? Mm-hmm. I see my dreams resurrecting in you. Mm. So, by the way, I really wanted, you know, to ask you this question. Why do you behave like a man? That question is out of space. Behave like what man? But seriously, you... You behave like a man. I do not behave like a man. You behave like a man. No, honestly. I do not. <laughs> no, seriously. Why do you behave like a man? <laughs> There. Jamie, what are you doing here? How did you find me? Oh, babe, I've missed you. I went to your house and I found out that you no longer live with your mom. What is happening? Nothing. So what's up? Why are you being hostile towards me? I'm not being hostile. I'm just asking you what's up. You haven't been taking my calls or replying my texts. My phone, my calls. 
Really? Well, um, there's this talent hunt competition that I saw and I wanted to talk to you about. Um, what's the name again? Um, Ason Yeah, Dance. yeah, yeah. Mm. <sighs> yes. I was there the first day. You got in without me. I thought we were supposed to be a team. Turns out that's all we were. <laughs> really? Judah, do we have a problem? I don't know. Do we? I mean, you're the one who lied to me about your cousin. I didn't lie to you. I didn't. Wait, is this what all this is all about? I was attacked that night. Everything I had on me was taken. My phone, my bag, my laptop, all gone. I'm so sorry, Judah. I didn't know about it. No, no, no. It. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was too good for you. I mean, that's how you go back with your ex. Yeah. I know. Judah! Judah! She's not ready.
I think she's ready. Stones, who is ready? Wait, wait, wait. Sandy, what's this ecstasy look on your face? Where have you been? <laughs> Sandy, what can I do? They behave like that, no? I'm the Simon. I'm the Don Simon now. You get a funny meal. Not the funny boom. It's a funny bros now. A funny canteen now. You know, Sabi Cap. Why did you give her that thing? I don't understand. I don't know my way. Go, go, punish you for that talk. No more with you. Oh, yeah, when they come out from my house. Zion. All of you. Never get What do you mean? Eh? I'm going to step up for that cappings. Hold up now. I said, I'm not going to come up from my house. Guy, calm down now. Never reach like this. Maybe I'm going to come up from my house. Say, what do you mean? Should I help you arrange, baby? They have a car for us. What do you mean? Eh? I don't understand. Hold up now. Come up from my house. Don't come out here. Best way to understand you. You don't try it. You don't do well. How are you going to do that? Hey, go now. Find a way to charge this phone and call her. <sighs> I don't know where we'll charge it by this time. I don't know anyone here. Yeah? Which car waka be this? You carry me waka now. No, I don't understand. Which is which car waka 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 waka? I don't, I don't, I don't understand you. Uh uh. Oh, okay, you. Why, why did you, why did you charge it full? Or why did you switch it off? When, when you know the, the battery is down. Come, come, come. Are you trying to blame me or what? How am I blaming you? Watch it, though. Watch it. Okay, sorry. Don't See, don't, don't start. Don't start with me. This is me. Don't start with me. Come and sit down. Is it by force? I understand it. Those students are very crazy. Really? I'm serious. I can't even imagine their behavior. So annoying. I must confess, those kids are scum. <laughs> gods, you say? Yes, of course. This has nothing to do with having gods. This is pure foolishness. To think that I will even stoop so low to a premature relationship is the worst of it. Yeah, I could have remembered when I was in secondary school. Mm. 
I didn't find it difficult to talk to a girl. Talk more of teachers. <laughs> that was during your time. Kids of nowadays. Really unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very right. Let me show you a little how to list it. Come on, I will teach you small lessons this night. So at next time, mm -hmm. you respect me. Betty, wake up. Betty, wake up. Why didn't you call me? It's a good morning. We tried calling, but her phone went off before we got here. But I told you that we were coming now. I know you did. But you don't expect me to stay indoors all day. Please. Sorry, where can I charge my phone? Uh, okay, there is lights. Yeah, there is lights. Let's go inside. I, I need to hurry to school. Come on.
Man committed a crime. Therefore, he is under arrest. I blame it on mom. Why is she here? 
Just stop it! Stop it! You caused it wrong. You shouldn't have come here. You never encouraged or support me. As if that was not enough. You had to come here with your evil heart and bad love. Well, I'm truly sorry, my son. Please. Don't you dare call me your son. Your son has been long thrown out of the house and he's on the street like a sheep without a shepherd. I'm not your son. Stay away from me. Judah, wait, wait. wait. As we proceed, let's make welcome another dance team. This one is a peculiar one, but I will tell you the story later. As a mind, let's put our heads together as we make welcome Bethany Herman Iwoka! Why did they drag Zion away? The same Igloramus Bozo, Nim Kompop and Crack Ring Glyki that have been warning you since the inception and Fonset Origo. He snaffled and percolated some drugs Can from their pocket. Stop with this drama. Just stop this drama. What exactly happened? That is what I'm verbosing and vocalizing from my vocal cavity and hypothalamus to you. The same Igloramus Bozo, he snaffled and percolated some drugs from their apothecary. Refnol and other things. Now they've they, 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 they've gotten him. They've got apprehended him. Zion, drugs. No, 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 no. It can't be true. It's Zion. The same juvenile you'll be roving around. I say, come and meet a, a juggernaut, somebody that is mature that can take care of everything. You say, no, you want to follow this person. No, no problem. Hello, yes, I will, I will, I will, I'm, I'm still propelling to that local. Are you sure what you're saying? Zion. I'm coming to the terminus, Aquam, please. Yes, you will see me there in no time. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So the winner is Bethlehem and <laughs> Like I said to you earlier, when they came out, I saw this naivety in them. But the truth is, they performed creditably. Please, can you put your hands together once again for them? So, on behalf of Aston Rich Mobile, Production, entertainment. We present this award to you, Bethlehem and Ikiroka.
So I, I know your family will be proud of you. Yeah. So what do you say to what do you say to the spectators, your friends who are here to watch you? You see, like I said to you, I saw this naivety in there. Even to talk, it's a problem. <laughs> Don't you cry Never, never, never give up 